Now let's focus on dividing rational expressions. So let's say if we have x squared minus 9 divided by 4x plus 20 over x squared plus 8x plus 15. So how can we divide uh, these expressions? Well first, let's turn this into a fraction. Let's put x squared minus 9 over 1. Now perhaps you heard of the expression keep, change, flip. Well, here's how you use it. Keep the first fraction the same. So let's rewrite it. And then change division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction. And now all we need to do is factor and cancel. x squared minus 9 we can factor as x plus 3 times x minus 3. x squared plus 8x plus 15. Two numbers that multiply to 15 but add to 8 are 3 and 5. So it's going to be x plus 3 times x plus 5. Now 4x plus 20. We can take out the GCF which is 4 and that's going to leave behind x plus 5. Now we want to determine the excluded values. The excluded value is negative 5. You can see that here. But also this is in the bottom of a fraction. So which is x plus 3 and x plus 5. So negative 3 and negative 5, which correlates to this part, while it's in the bottom of a fraction, those are excluded values too. Now let's cancel. The only thing that we can cancel is x plus 5. And these two, we can write it as x plus 3 squared times the other one, x minus 3, divided by 4. So that's the final answer for this problem. Let's try this one. 4x cubed plus 32 divided by 6x squared minus 24 divided by 3x squared minus 6x plus 12 over x squared minus 7x plus 10. So how can we simplify this complex fraction? If you ever see a problem like this, you can rewrite it. This is equivalent to 4x cubed plus 32 over 6x squared minus 24 divided by, whenever you see a fraction, it represents division. So we're going to divide it by the other stuff. 3x squared minus 6x plus 12. Okay, that's a terrible 2. Over uh, x squared minus 7x plus 10. So now that we're dividing these rational expressions, let's use the keep change flip technique. So let's keep the first part the same. And then let's change division to multiplication. And let's flip the second fraction. Now let's factor and cancel. So 4x cubed plus 32, the first thing that we can do right now is take out a 4. And 6x squared minus 24, we can take out the GCF, which is 6. Now x squared minus 7x plus 10, two numbers that multiply to 10 but add to negative 7 are negative 5 and negative 2. And for the other one, we could take out the greatest common factor, which is 3. And that's going to leave behind x squared minus 2x, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now how can we factor x cubed plus 8? 
Notice that we have the sum of perfect cubes. So we can use this formula. a cubed plus b cubed is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So x cubed is a cubed, b cubed is a, which means that a is x, b is 2. a squared, x times x, that's x squared. ab, x times 2 is 2x. b squared, 2 squared is 4. And so that's what we have. So this is going to be 4 times x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And x squared minus 4, that's x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now it turns out that we cannot factor x squared minus 2x plus 4. So we just have to leave it the way it is. Now let's cancel. We can cancel those two. We can get rid of uh, x plus 2 and also x minus 2. 4 over 6 can be reduced to 2 over 3. And we have this other 3 as well. So the final answer is 2 times x minus 5 divided by 9. That's it. So let's say if we have the polynomial 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 12x. A polynomial is simply an expression with many terms. And we're going to divide it by a monomial, or one term. Whenever you want to divide it by a monomial, you can separate this fraction into three separate fractions. So basically, you want to divide every term on top by 4x. 8x cubed divided by 4x, 8 divided by 2, I mean 8 divided by 4 is 2, x cubed divided by x is going to be x squared. You've got to subtract the exponents. 3 minus 1 is 2. So this is going to be 2x squared. Negative 4x squared divided by 4x is simply uh, negative x. And 12x divided by 4 is 3. So that's the answer. 2x squared minus x plus 3. Let's try one more example. 36x to the 5th minus 63x to the 4th plus 72x cubed divided by 9x squared. Feel free to try this example. So let's divide every term by 9x squared. So 36 divided by 9 is 4, and 5 minus 2 is 3. 63 divided by 9 is 7, 4 minus 2 is 2. 72 divided by 9 is 8, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 8x. Let's say if we have 8x squared plus... 6x minus 12. And let's divide it by 2x minus 3. Now we can't separate it into smaller fractions. I mean we could, but it's going to be pointless. If you have two or more terms in the bottom, you want to use long division. The numerator is going to go on the inside. And actually I might need a little bit more space. So let's put this here. And now let's divide. Eight x squared divided by two x is four x. And now let's multiply. Four x times two x is going to be eight x squared. And four x times negative three is negative twelve x. And then subtract. So you're always going to repeat the process. Divide, multiply, and then subtract. 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0. 
6x minus negative 12x, that's the same as 6x plus 12x, that's positive 18x, and then bring down the negative 12. Now let's divide again. 18x divided by 2x is 9, and then subtract. Well, first we're going to multiply. 9 times 2x is 18x, and 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Now we can subtract. 18x minus 18x, that's going to be 0. Negative 12 minus negative 12, I mean minus negative 27, that's the same as negative 12 plus 27, which is uh, positive 15. And positive 15 is the remainder. So now the answer, 8x squared plus 6x minus 12 divided by 2x minus 3 is equal to the stuff that you see on top, which is 4x plus 9 and then plus the remainder divided by what you tried to divide it by, which is uh, 2x minus 3. So that's the solution to the problem. Now let's work on another example. Let's divide 4x cubed plus 10x minus 8 by x minus 2. So feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So let's put the denominator on the outside and the numerator on the inside. Now we need to write this as 4x cubed plus 0x squared. If you don't see an x squared, add 0x squared plus 10x minus 8. So let's divide. 4x cubed divided by x is 4x squared. And now let's multiply. 4x squared times x, that's 4x cubed. 4x squared times negative 2, that's going to be negative 8x squared. Now we can subtract. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus negative x squared is basically 0 plus 8. So that's going to be positive 8x squared. Next, let's bring down the 10x. Now let's divide 8x squared by x. So that's going to be positive 8x. And now let's multiply. 8x times x, that's 8x squared. And 8x times negative 2 is negative 16x. So now let's subtract. 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0. 10x minus negative 16x, that's 10x plus 16x. That's positive 26x. And now let's bring down the negative 8. And then let's divide. 26 divided by, well, 26x divided by x. That's positive 26. And then let's multiply. 26 times x is 26x. And 26 times negative 2, that's negative 52. So now we can subtract. So this is going to be 0. And negative 8 minus negative 52, or negative 8 plus 52, that's positive 44, which is the remainder. So the final answer is going to be all the stuff that's on top. So that's 4x squared plus 8x plus 26 and then plus the remainder divided by what you try to divide it by, which is uh, x minus 2. So this is the answer. Now you know how to divide a polynomial by a binomial.